yes, 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 Kenya. Tamu sana. Oya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Mm. Irungu Kangata writes another letter. He writes another letter. And before we dwell into that, if you've bumped on this video for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell. And for those who have already subscribed, I thank you for your continued support. Straight away to our issue now. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, Irungu Kangata was in an interview, or rather he was in a show yesterday at KTN News, a show called Crossfire. And Irungu Kangata confirmed yesterday that he had written a letter to the Speaker of the National Assembly. This is what Irungu Kangata stated during that show at Crossfire. I foresee a situation where the speaker has to make a ruling on the amendment issue. I have written a letter to the speaker seeking to amend this bill. We have the power to amend this document. He goes on to say, counties from central, from central region have not been given constituencies fairly. We only have eight constituencies. Six are in Kiambu, one in Muranga, Kirinyaga has one, Nyeri and Nyandarwa have zero. It is unfair. We will be underrepresented in parliament except Kiambu. That was Irungu Kangata's revelation yesterday at KTN News, a show called Crossfire. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that statement by Irungu Kangata made me wonder, and I had to look for this BBI document, this, this booklet. I had to look for this booklet. And I perused through the constituencies and it's true, Kiambu has six. I don't know whether you can see. Kiambu has six from this booklet. Uh, Kiambu has six. Kirinyaga one. Muranga one. Nyandaru doesn't have. Nyeri doesn't have. But if you look at the additional constituencies that we all know, is populated by Mount Kenya people outside of Central. I think I've done the mathematics. In Central, we have eight, as he says, but we have other additional constituencies outside of, of Central Province that are dominated by people from Mount Kenya. In fact, were an election to be done in those constituencies. Mount Kenya alone, Mount Kenya vote alone could carry the day in those constituencies. And so we have in Laikipia, where we have additional one constituency, Nakuru we have five, Kajado we have three. These are constituencies outside of Central that are dominated by people from Central. So I've done my mathematics earlier on. So if you add the eight constituencies from Central, and these other ones outside of Central, it comes to about 17 constituencies. That one we have left the ones that have been added in Nairobi. Because in Nairobi we know they are also going to get some. So if you add the eight constituencies, Irungu Kangata was saying in Central plus the nine constituencies out of Central, if we leave the ones they have in Nairobi, it comes to about 17 constituencies. Then... These 17 constituencies out of this additional, out of the 70 constituencies, I'd done my mathematics earlier on. So 17 out of 70, you get about 25%. So out of these new 70 constituencies that are going to be added, they already have 25% of those constituencies. 
one region alone. Then on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, Irumu Kangata was one of the champions of one man, of one man, one vote, one shilling. He was championing that. One man, one vote, one shilling was just based on a vote or rather representation per population. Kikuyu population in Kenya, ladies and gentlemen, is about 17%. Going by our latest census results, they are about 17%. And 17%, if you add, if you calculate this additional constituencies are going to get by the population, you get that they already have 25% additional constituencies as, as opposed to their 17% population. So it simply means going by these additional constituencies, they are overrepresented by about 8%. 8%. So Irungu Kangata, my friend, please, do your mathematics right. So that is that. Then they were in that show with one buddy. And buddy advised him that Irungu Kangata should not just concentrate on the constituencies. He should look at the BBI documents in wholesome. And maybe if his interest is only the constituencies, then it's upon him now to go back to his people and convince them to reject the documents. <laughs> Let him convince his people from the mountain to reject the documents. Because after all, Irungu Kangata told us that BBI is not popular there. So the first time he wrote a letter to the president, we saw him, he was kicked out of parliament, like Aburu Kenge. He was literally chased from parliament, from that post he held as a chief whip in the Senate. So this time around he has written to the speaker, I just don't know what is going to happen to him. Maybe the speaker, <laughs> though, though on a lighter note, might also chase him like a Burukenge, out, uh, outside of parliament maybe. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to say is that one Irungu Kangata is just a, an example of a typical Kenyan politician. A Kenyan politician who drinks wine but preach who drinks wine but preaches water, something like that. He told us that Mount Kenya wants something like one one man, one vote, one shilling. Then this document, if you read it properly, is offering the people of the mountain that. And Irungu sometimes earlier on, when he wrote a letter to the president, he advised the president that the BBI document was not very popular in their region. But nonetheless, if you read his first letter to the president, Irungu Kangata made it very clear that BBI document was a wonderful document. But now he's telling the whole country that this document is going to lead to underrepresentation of the people of the Mount Kenya region. This is a political deceit and this is the highest form or, or rather the highest order of a lie. This is a lie. Otherwise, folks, I don't have much today. Let me leave it there. Just as I did mention when, when we were starting, if you bumped on this video for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell. And for those watching us outside of Kenya, please drop us a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. It's very, very humbling. And for those who have been asking me how many videos we do in this YouTube channel per day, currently we do two videos per day. We upload one in the morning and one in the evening. So stay tuned for our evening video today, where we are going to dwell a lot about the current political scenario in our country. So for those who have been asking for my number, I've pinned my WhatsApp number down on the comment section. If maybe you have a private chat, or maybe you, you even want to sponsor or support this program or this show, 
You can contact me through my WhatsApp number. Pin it down there so that we can see which is which. Otherwise, folks, God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Thank you.